Here's a great find uh, that was just out there waiting for me on the side of a curb. Uh, this was right after Hurricane Sandy. Uh, it's an old hot point black and white television set. Uh, I just happened to be passing by and I knew I had to rescue it and uh, just made for a nice corner piece here in the office. Another collection I like is uh, military items and uh, have a sort of, this is an old guided missile uh, head, some practice uh, artillery rounds, uh, different sizes and uh, you know just more more fun for the collection. So right here what we've got is a uh, the head of a uh, rocket propelled grenade and uh, then over here a uh, test, these things are pretty heavy, supposed to be about 30 pounds, uh, a test uh, bomb of some sort, and uh, some different uh, sizes of artillery shells. And then the, uh, the most fun one, is, uh, I'm not sure what the size is, but again, a very large artillery test shell. It's made out of wood uh, because this is what they would do their practicing with. But uh, this, this thing checks in at about 50 or so pounds. Continuing with my electromechanical stuff, uh, I noticed that the, the, the uh, Edison exhibit at the American History Museum of the Smithsonian has a number of light bulbs and tubes. So this gives you an idea of some of the sizes that the uh, light bulbs used to be. And, uh, but of course, back in the day before transistors and all this microprocessor stuff, they used to have tubes, vacuum tubes for everything. And I think that they are like pieces of art, uh, kind of out of the Jetsons era. When you take a look at something like this, these large vacuum tubes. Uh, these two are tubes, and yet uh, this one's almost the size of, of a light bulb itself. And uh, I've got, uh, you know, different kinds, different sizes. This supposedly came out of a, uh, uh, a movie set light, uh, and uh, un unused as far as I know.